Thank you for have for giving me the opportunity to do the presentation today. I would like to bring you to the course of our life been doing in God mystery. So my topic today is be brave in God's calling. So how how to be brave? Why we have to brave? Yeah, that is the question that we have to ask ourselves all the time. So first question is, are you brave enough for to follow God? So be, before I want to answer the question, I would like to bring you to see how we, how am I before I brave, okay? So. Let's see. This is my conversion. I became a Christian in 2013. And you know why? Or do you know how I believe in Christ? But when I came to university, I don't have any support from my family. I have to looking for the help. So I found a place and recommend it from my friend. He is not a Christian, but he recommend me to go there. Okay. And then I found that what I have to do in birth after I conversion. I asked myself what I have to do. Later on I see that one answer is love what you do and do what you love. That that feel that my emotion regaining because I love something and then I have to do something. So after that time, I try to learn something from the mission. So all of this activity urge me to want, want to know something more when I stay in the mission. Why? Because God strengthened me and all the time God want me to say yes to people who ask me for help. So sometimes I have people I don't care about myself. So mo most, most of the time when the single mother they ask me for help, I directly help them. Or my pastor told me that, that people want to need help, so I go to help them. Luckily, in one of the single mother children, when I have them many times, she even called me Papa. So I realized that what? I don't have even the wife. Why they call me Papa? I have been shame. But that, that thing is not uh, slow down my building to serve God. Okay? <clears throat> because God want me to do it. So I volunteer myself to do it. That is, I uh, serve God or I can glorify God by that way. Second is growing. Because I, people, my pastor, my leader see something in my life. So she asked me to do something in ministry. She even asked me to lead the group. So I I not good at leading, but because of they asked me to do those, experience many things, I get mistake, and then I can learn from that mistake. So I think keep learning from the mistake is better for me, <coughs> especially in your group and then the teenager group. So we divided many. Uh, service in the ministry. So I'm the one who can lead, who lead the group. In the verse, in Isaiah 6, 8, okay, I would like to read this verse for you. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, send me. So, why do I Keep remind that verse in my life. I feel that 
that verse is urging me to go to do God service more. Okay. So, but one thing happened in my life. After I finished the college, I had nothing in my life. Why? I got the degree from the university, but I feel I have nothing. Why? Why like that? You see? I feel empty because I lack of love. And I experience the love more when I begin, when I serve in a mission. So because of I feel and I experience with those, I want to share to others. So because of that, God sees something in my side, in my life, and then he puts this word in my life. He put this word in my life. So he asked me, do I want to go to Myanmar? I not slowly to say yes. Okay. I'm not slowly to say yes. Why? I finished my degree, but I'm feeling empty in my heart. Why? Because experience that I gain from the ministry, it exists in my heart, in my life. So I say yes. This picture is from Myanmar, first time when I go there, when I went there. So I look, I'm looking for happiness. So I have nothing people around me, but at the time they are the sheep. They come to me and then they want to kiss me. I feel, oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. So I, <clears throat> I feel good. I feel comfortable because of this uh, action. I think God sent a sheep to me to comfort me. So uh, it's, uh, can gain my joy to serve in the Lord, okay? And after that, testing. Why I put that? When I arrived in Myanmar, I know nothing. I don't have any language. My English, my lang English language is poor. And when those, I can speak English a little bit, but the people are there, they not speak English. So what I have to do? I can use only the body language, the symbol language, to uh, begin the conversation. <clears throat> I began to build up the friendship. How I do that? Kids around my building, they keep talking again and again, again and again. I don't know what to do, but I use my body language to communicate with them. So you see, that is Myanmar symbol. <laughs> so first time I have to wear, because my skin color all look like Myanmar, only the dress. So I change, starting use that dress, okay? And then God want me to do something and my spiritual father keep looking at me. He, he try want to observe me what W A question, okay. W A question in his mind. He look, he waiting for me. What I'm going to do in Myanmar? So I also asking myself what I'm going to do in Myanmar because I have nothing at the time. So friendship is bad. So first time I looking for friendship there. And one advice that I get from my uh, spiritual father. He said to me that. People's life must live with the love and care, and we don't need to understand them. So I begin to take care of people there, children. They are around my home, so I only take care of them. I don't, I don't need to understand what they are doing, but I just love and care them. So this is advising from my spiritual father. He, he don't have in this photo, but I have. Uh, he the one take picture, so I use that photo. After he gave advice to me, I have, I began the mission there. We call Hope Center, Hope Center. First time we adopt some people, some uh, kid to stay with us, but because of that, the church began growing. Okay, the church became became growing, and then we increased people, and then. 
I have to I have to manage how how I do it, how I'm doing it. Okay. Then many many of these people, five of these people come to help me. So they come to lead the kid when we teaching them. Okay. And then because of the mission growing, I have to hide it. Why do I have to hide it? At the time, Rohingya group in Myanmar increasing, and then the government they fight again to Rohingya. So the police looking for the people, the strangers come to their country, and I, the one who had to hide that from them. Five years in Myanmar, I had to hide or escape to Pagoda to monasteries seventeen times. So that it challenged me to to do it. Okay. So after that. I feel that what is in my mind if I keep escape every time like that? There is three main thing in in uh, in my mind. There are hope center like that. We we play around together. We teaching around together, and then hope school. We teaching them, teaching the kid there, and then hope village. Why we call hope village? Because when I get there, I ask kid. Many of them they don't know what that place calling, so I name it Hope Village. Okay, so I can I start to build up the friendship there, and then we can have football team. And then in my life, because I keep escaping, I I I ask to God, is that dear God? Okay, so I <clears throat> I went there for five years, but I have no any disciple there. So I begin to pray to God, and I can fish only one person. It's not like a Donald Trump and Jackson Taylor, right? He he uh, can volunteer many people to believe God, right? So for me, only one for five years. Why? Because I stay in the boundary of the cold missionary. I have no, uh, I don't have authority to do that much. Okay. And then sharing. We we begin they come uh, this group and then we let the volunteer from other country to come. So whenever they come, they like to share what they have to the to these people. Okay. And this in 2019, God called me back to Cambodia. So I begin. I start to thinking why and how do I have to. Come back because I have the mission there. I have mission to take care of their whole family, hope school, hope village, hope kid. So I have what I have to do. So I ask my friend to take care of it, and then I come back. So I only want do one thing like Samuel did. Only listen to God's calling. So he he asked me to go to Myanmar. I go even though I don't have uh, any low like there. And then he um he called me come back. I come back. Because it's not my mission, it's God's mission, so He take care of it. And then this is the answer, right now, because I uh, I listen to God all the time. That is why God got my step, and then He answer what I'm praying for. Thank you. <laughs>